Hey guys, it's Phase One. This is your weekly uplink where we cover all star citizen news for the past week. If you're new to this channel, we do all kinds of star citizen content, so make sure to subscribe for more. I also stream on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So if you have any questions or if you just like to hang out, make sure to follow me there as well. My links are down below. And without any further ado, let's get started. This week in Star Citizen Live, they went over all Star Citizen 3.13 features. They discussed a bit about the Rock DS. The intention of the DS is to avail the option to play with your friends. The vehicle is intended to be more efficient than the base ROC. It has a longer range and a more powerful laser. It has four times the cargo capacity than the base Rock. There are plans to have new Astro types to mine, but at the moment there are some technical limitations, which is being worked out. Once resolved, they will introduce new mineables. Cargo is currently being refactored. Once done, they will introduce actual hauling missions. The one key goal is to have cargo physicalized in the game world. This means that you can pick them up and move them. In regards to haul degradation, after initial implementation, they will eventually introduce a repair shop where you can reverse the wear and tear. The Charlie and Mountain turrets are being introduced in Alpha 313, but will not have an impact on gameplay on its initial implementation. They are there to be tested by the players and to provide feedback and to see how they interact with other gameplay mechanics. Trolleys are intended to be used for moving cargo around and missions in the future. The mounted guns are intended to be used by the AI or players to defend locations. They will eventually be integrated with missions. In regards to mining subcomponents, if mining ships are destroyed or reclaimed with subcomponents attached, the mining head will lose them. This is the intended behavior. In addition, all ships will have the new SDF shields. Ship serial numbers are based on entity unique GUIDs. Every asset in game has this. And whenever you reclaim a ship, it receives a new GUID. They could begin testing spawn closets as of 313.1 or 3.14. There's a concerted effort to address the issue with ground vehicles damaging themselves while driving. CIG encourages us to report these bugs as we see them. They are looking into the possibility of adding caves to asteroids. Match speed only works with the Merlin and the Connie docking. It only works when the Merlin targets the Connie and initiates automated docking. They are looking into improving server performance which will eventually allow players to spawn 3 vehicles. As the Merlin usually despawns after you spawn a Connie and a rover. In 313, the new reputation system does not care about monitored or unmonitored space. And the best news is that there is no intention to do a full wipe this patch unless an unforeseen issue arises. What feature do you look forward to in Star Citizen 3.13? Let me know in the comments below. If there's anything in this video that you like, make sure you leave me a like as well. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more. I will see you on the next one.